In every Android app, there's a single foreground thread known as the main thread. This thread manages the user interface. All visual elements such as layouts and widgets are a part of the main thread. And most of the code that you write in an activity class is executed on that thread. But it's only a single thread, which means only one thing can be happening at a time. When you need to do things in an Android app that might take a few seconds, such as a network request, you have to make sure you're not blocking the main thread. If you try to execute a network request, such as an HTTP request, on the main thread of an Android app, in the most recent versions of Android, you'll get an error. It's just not permitted. And even in the older versions of Android, it's not recommended. The problem is that because the main thread is a single threaded environment, for as long as that request takes to complete, the user interface will freeze. And after a few seconds, the operating system might present the dreaded ANR error. That stands for application not responding. That's what happens when the main thread has been frozen. So you don't want to block the main thread. You want to take communications like HTTP requests and execute them on background threads. But here's the second part of the problem. Once you're inside a background thread, by default, you can't access the user interface. That's on the main thread. And so you need some special tools to be able to accomplish both tasks, to be able to execute code in the background thread and modify objects on the main thread while it's happening to let the user know what's going on. In the Android SDK, network communications have to be run in the background. And you could use standard Java concurrent programming tools for this. The thread class, the runnable interface, and the java.concurrent library are all implemented in the Android SDK. But these tools don't give you access to the main thread. So you can execute a background task, but while it's happening, the main thread is out of your reach. To have your cake and eat it too, that is to be able to work in the background and control the foreground at the same time, you'll work with a class called async task, which is unique to the Android environment. Here are some guidelines to know about as you work with async task for the first time. The async task class is intended for working with shorter tasks, lasting a few seconds at a time. If you need to do something that takes a longer time, 15 or 20 seconds, you should look at other architectures in the Android SDK. Also, each instance of an async task object can only be executed once. To use async task, you'll subclass it. You'll create your own unique task class. Then you'll instantiate that class. You'll create an instance of it. And you'll execute that instance of the class. Once that task has been executed, that instance or object is done. You can discard it. You just let go of the reference and let it be garbage collected. If you want to execute the task again, you create another instance of the same class and execute that. And finally, Async task objects don't survive configuration changes automatically. The most commonly known of these is the orientation change, the change that results when the user changes a device from portrait to landscape or back again. If your app needs to be really stable and you need to support multiple configurations, you'll need to do some additional work beyond what I show in this course. For example, you might attach the async task object to a fragment that doesn't go away when the orientation changes. But those are more advanced architectures. My focus in this course is showing you how to integrate your Android app with web services. And you must know how to use the async task class to do that correctly. So in the following movies, I'll show you how to use the async task class, how to execute tasks serially or in parallel, and how to report the progress of a task from the background thread so the user can see what's happening in the foreground thread.